What's up guys in this video I'm going to show you how to set up register login and logout with firebase auth on your angular project. Additionally we save the login details in real time database. Let's get started. First I'm going to create a firebase project. Go to console. Let's give a project name. I disabled it because I don't need Google Analytics on this project. So now I'm gonna go ahead and create a new web app. Name for our app. Now I'm gonna create a real time database so that we can save our login details such as last login date and time, email, and user details. So I am starting with test mode. You can go ahead with locked mode also. Sweet. Now I am going to create the authentication. Just open the authentication tab and click the sign in method. Here find the email and password section. Click the edit button. Now we can enable this email and password authentication. So all the signed up users will be shown here. Now I'm going to create an angular project. Open your terminal and create a new project. Okay, now I have created my project. I'm going to clear the terminal. Let's navigate to the project folder. So now I'm going to log into Firebase using terminal. We have to log into Firebase using this URL. Just click and give your email and password for login. Perfect. So let's check our Firebase connection by listing our projects. Okay, now we can see a list of all the Firebase projects that we have created. Now I'm going to initialize the Firebase. Here we have to select Firebase services that we are going to use. So press space to select the services and use arrow keys to move the cursor. We have an existing project. Now we have to select the project which we have created before. So here we have to input a file name. I'm gonna input a fake file name because this is not necessary for now. We got an error here. Because we didn't create cloud firestore in the firebase project that we created. Okay, now we have logged into the firebase and checked the connection. So now I'm gonna add firebase to my angular project. 
just type this command and enter. So here we have to select which Firebase services are going to be used. Use arrow keys to move the selector and just press space to select. So I'm gonna use authentication and real-time database. Now we can enter. Now it is asking which Firebase account would I like to use. Just select your account and press enter. Here we have to select an existing Firebase project or create a new project. So I have created one before and I'm gonna select it. Let's open our Angular project in this Visual Studio Code. So if you check the environments files, you can find Firebase connection has created automatically. Let's run this Angular project. So if your project also a new one, interface will be like this. Let's create the login form. Here I have created a simple login form. If you need the same login form, you can find the source code's link in the description below. So this is the CSS form. So now I'm gonna add forms module. I'm gonna put these input fields into a form. Let's update app.components file. You may be using different components. Now we have to create a constructor here. Let's import Firebase authentication. I'm using Firebase documentation. Using it, we can get the latest code and updates. And you don't need to log into documentation if you can type the same code like this. First, I'm gonna create the register function. Copy and paste the sign up code.
Here we are passing the inputs values. After signing up user successfully, I'm gonna give an alert saying user created. If you need to redirect the user to another page after signing up, you can put your codes here without alerting. So if the code fails to an error when executing, I'm gonna alert the error here. Okay, now we can check the code. All the registered users will be showing here. We got the alert. Account also created successfully. Okay, now I'm gonna save the login details in real time database at the same time when user sign up. So, this is the real time database which we have created before, and it is empty right now. Let's add the code. Before that, we need to import the database configuration. Users is the category name, or we can say table name. So here we have to add an unique ID. I'm gonna add user ID as the unique user ID. I'm gonna save the email and let's add another input field to enter the username. That's it. Now we can check the code. User created. And real time database also updated. Okay, now we can create the sign in function. Now we have to put this code same as the sign up code. So here we have to code what will happen if the user successfully signed in. You can create a session here or redirect the user to the dashboard or anything else. But now I'm gonna give an alert here and also update the last login date and time in the real time database.
user ID Last login column is not at the database, but Firebase create a new record and save it. Errors here. Let's check the code. Let's log in with the email and password. Now we can see the real time database also updating. So sign out the user, simply add this code. So I'll add more this kind of videos and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button.